Hey guys, John here. Today we're in Pigments, and since we've been doing effects here, there's a cool one I thought I'd like to share with you guys, and it's kind of like a data breach or data breach. I don't know. If you say data or data, please let me know. I'm kind of curious how you pronounce it. So uh, let's go ahead and go to new preset here, and this one's actually kind of simple to get it started with. We go in the wavetable engine and on the phase mod. Let's crank this all the way to the right, and this tuned here, let's bring this up maybe just a little bit like this and grab the random, drop it on over here, and change this random from Turing to Sample and Hold, and then the re-trigger source is going to be the clock here. So the cool part about this is we can select this here, go to Hertz, put the chain on here to link the rise and fall. And we have kind of something like that. So this is a huge range here, so we can always dial this back just a little bit like that. And then the multi-mode is kind of cool for the first filter. The second filter, what I like to do is turn this guy on and let's go to the MS-20. And instead of a low pass, let's go to, to the high pass here. Something kind of like that. And let's give it a little bit of unison. Something for this is probably the most going to be two voices. So we have something kind of like that. And for the first macro, let's go for a cut right over here. And then let's maybe somewhere right here and then bring it all the way to the full value here. And let's label this cut here. Something kind of like that. And what's kind of cool for the utility engine, let's turn this on and let's turn on one of these noises here and let's do something kind of interesting. There is some interesting aliasing artifacts. Let's see what that sounds like. Send this to filter two. So that's almost kind of like an ambient kind of sound here. So if I'll turn this down here and on macro number two, let's bring this over here and let's put this as ambient one here. So am, I'll put a, am, I guess I'll spell A-M-B-I-E-N-T one. Okay, ambient one. So we have something kind of like that. Maybe increase our release a little bit. And for the second one here, let's click this here and let's see what's in digital. Maybe we can go for, ooh, resonator high cluster. That's kind of cool. I remember that one. So that's going to be macro number three. So let's put this here and then give it a good value, something like that. Ambient two. So now we're going to do some effects here. So for the first one here, let's go for a pitch shifting delay, something kind of like this. I'm gonna give it some nice reverb here. Actually, you know what would be, would be cool if we did actually a shimmer verb. And something that's kind of cool, generally I've always done the effects on the fourth macro, but since we have two, we can kind of use it for something else. And I think this effect might be kind of cool. So if we got macro at number four, went over to the wavetable engine here and drop this on the course tuning here and just put this all the way to the left. So basically once we increase this, we're going to be doing a pitch dive. So let's go pitch dive, something kind of like that. <laughs> something kind of like that. Or if you want to do something different, if you don't really care for the pitch dive, what's also a cool idea here is going to the random and changing this rate here on a macro. Cause maybe you want to start off slow, something kind of like this. That might be kind of a cool effect as well, but it's totally up to you. But it kind of does sound like that data breach, right? And if you played a lot of notes, it's kind of musical a little bit. Just fun doing that with uh, phase modulation. So uh, anyway, if you'd like to get this patch, it is totally free. And the, in, there's a link in the video description below and the data breach can be yours. And that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you learned something and we'll see you in the next video.